But I always have so much admiration for people who are from very far away from New York City or perhaps like yourself from another country mm -hmm. who are, say, OK, I'm going to leave this home that I've known for my whole life or most of my life. And I'm yeah. going to move to New York City and pursue this passion that I have so deeply after, you know, now being 10 years into it. What what has that experience been like as a Mexican actor living and working in New York City? Well, that, again, I think the the thing that strikes me first is that that well, growing up, right, my my parents knew I was very much into this, but I I, I grew up hearing this notion of like you won't make a living out of acting, right? There's this a lot of actors experience that a lot of artists in general. Right. So my parents were like, why don't you study uh, media and communications that might get you a safer job, like an office job. And right. So it's all these things that I, I uh, grew up hearing of just like you can't make a career out of that. It's not safe. Right. So first first thing it's when I when I came to school here, I just seeing my teachers and seeing that they were professional actors with active careers, just seeing that. Right. Which is why it's so important in a way to see yourself and other people going back to this relationship of like you have to see yourself in order to believe in yourself right so seeing uh, 10 different people and during the course of a semester who were pr actively making a living out of acting already just like blew my mind and i'm like this is possible it, it, here it, this is possible so that alone just gave me a lot of confidence and i think the 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 uh being a, uh, an immigrant kind of like on a visa uh, thing also puts a kind of like a, a flame under your ass, so to speak, because <laughs> it's there's the, there's the clock ticking, right? So I think it does make you pursue things just in a different rhythm that it's just like, okay, I have the, the ticking clock and you also have to uh, demonstrate to the government that you have what it takes to say, right? So you kind of like have, you need to build those relationships. You need to have those contracts you need to write for, for your visa to get approved and for you to be able to keep pursuing this. So I think that is one. And I think that has allowed me to create a lot of relationships and have a lot of um, spaces where I get to be an actor. Uh, but what, what strikes me most about New York City, I think it's that I've never lacked that work. You know, it is there. You just, I, I, I do think if you cultivate those relationships, if you, if you put in the work, there is there there are possibilities which is very exciting right possibilities for you to become involved in someone else's work and for you to start your own uh so i think i i, I would say uh that's it and uh, what i would add is that um being a mexican moving to the united states what happens is that all people from latin america tend to get uh put in the same category right which in latin america we do not think of it like that we do we do say latin america but we don't say we're latin american we say we're mexican or we're colombian or venezuelan right and in the u.s it's uh latinos right it's like this the uh, the u.s likes very much very much likes its its categories <laughs> right very neat so i think um it's been great because in a lot of these spaces where I I, I get to perform, I and there's sort of people from all all across Latin America, right? There there are these spaces, and it's been really neat to find in truth the commonalities, but also the need to uh, expand the notion of Latin America means a million different things, right? Which is where Quemocion, uh, which is the company you were involved with, uh, it's how it started. Uh, my friend Alexandra Gomez, who is a Colombian American, in the midst of the pandemic, called me and was like, "I want to start a company. You in?" <laughs> and she says, "Like, I I feel like this is it. It's when our a lot of the conversations on on representation and the importance and what does it mean and just expanding this notion of what being a Latin American of Latin American descent in the U.S. means. And we want it to mean every possible thing." right which which sometimes it, it can be a little narrow so that was I guess that's what I would add as far as my experience being from Mexico coming here and what I've seen and what I would like to uh help develop which is the work that a lot of people are doing 
right now.